Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we explain how to run many bash terminals of the same Ubuntu session in Windows subsystem for Linux or WSL. Let's start immediately. The first step is to open a session of WSL, that is to open a session of Ubuntu inside of Windows. To do that, click on Start and search here for Ubuntu. And if you have installed WSL correctly, you should see the default WSL Ubuntu distribution. So let's open this terminal and here we are. Let's see the version just for a second. Okay, currently I am in Ubuntu 22.04, however everything explained in this tutorial will be applied and can be applied to other Ubuntu distributions. Now, the goal over here is to open another terminal of the same Ubuntu session. That is, if you are used to using Ubuntu on native installations, that is, the Ubuntu without the WSL, you can easily click somewhere over here in the terminal window and you will be able to open another terminal window. And you often need to do that, for example, if you're playing with robot operating system or if you're running a process that requires several terminals and several programs that need to communicate from different terminals. The easiest approach to open a new bash terminal of the same session is actually to press shift and hold shift and press over here. That is the left mouse button over here. And here it is. Now we have opened another bash terminal of the same Ubuntu session inside of WSL. However, let's make sure that this is the same session of Ubuntu. That is, let's make sure that we didn't open a new session of Ubuntu. To make sure that these two terminals belong to the same Ubuntu session, I will run a small demonstration. In the first terminal, I'm going to run a Docker container that will run a robot operating system package I wrote. Now, on your computer, you will not be able to do that. However, you can watch this for demonstration or you can do a similar test by using your own program. And after running this, I'm inside of a local container that's also running Linux Ubuntu. And inside of this local container, I will run one node. And this node will simply publish messages. And here they, here they are. This is message number zero. This is message number one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. And this, these messages are published with the frequency of one hertz. Now, to make sure that the other terminal is inside of the same session of Ubuntu, I'm going to run another program or another container inside of this terminal. Here it is. And inside of this terminal, I'm going to run another program that should listen to the messages that the first program is sending. And here it is. And you can see what's happening. We received the message. This is message number 44. And you can see that the messages are being sent and the messages are being received more or less in real time. And this means that we are running the same session inside of two different terminals. And this is very important. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching.